Hi. New World Update 1.02 is out. I think now it's actually out for everyone. And it's not quite what I expected at this point, to be honest. Let's go through it, let's talk about it, and let's also talk about some of the things were not addressed in it, or that I think should have been addressed in it. So, first of all, they are going to work on the server transfer still. That's uh, going on uh, currently, that's going on for a while, and that's basically what they're working towards at the moment. That's where most of the resources seem to be focused on. But they have also done some fixes. The first one of those is to faction missions. Uh, they reduced the amount of influence uh, increase over time significantly for attacking factions. This is to account for a bug they found where the increase was multiplied much faster than intended over time. Uh, remove the de decrease in influence over time for defending factions. So this is interesting because initially I think this was brought up and they kind of said that that's not the case as far as I remember. And now they acknowledge the issue. Which, unfortunately, is a little bit late for those people who have been thrown into wars for days and days and days. My company literally didn't get a break to the point where we were almost glad when we lost our territory eventually. Uh, because we finally didn't have to fight a war basically every single day. Because it was almost impossible to stop the faction point gathering, the faction influence gathering uh, from the attacking factions. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's coming afterwards, I suppose, whatever. But hey, uh, I'm glad it's fixed. Then we have a bunch of bug fixes. Fix an issue where players could respawn as a corpse. Fix an issue where the tier 3 fishing treasure chest wouldn't fight back after being hooked. Very interesting, this has been in the game for ages and I thought that was intended. I thought the logic here was that a fishing, uh, that a treasure chest wouldn't fight back because it's a treasure chest. Apparently that was not intended and it's actually meant to fight back. I guess, okay. Hopefully it doesn't fight back like a really strong fish because that really wouldn't make sense for it. Fix various localization issues and text fields. Fix an issue causing players to be kicked, suspended, banned or removed from the game by easy anti-cheat to receive unclear communication. Additional messaging has been added so players can better understand the penalty they received. Uh, here we need to take a quick stop because it's great that they're now giving reasons. But the much bigger problem with this is that there are bans happening at the moment that simply should not be happening. Um, I don't even want to go into detail about how that's being done or used because then more people would abuse it as well. But I'll just tell you that the way that the anti-cheat is currently handling certain things is just not okay and does not actually catch cheaters. So that, in my opinion, should be addressed first before the messaging behind it is focused on. But well, I hope it's coming soon at least because that's a massive problem for the game right now. Fix an issue causing territory influence to be reset after an invasion. I'm fairly certain there's an additional issue with territory influence during an invasion. Again, something I don't want to talk about too much because then more people will abuse it. But uh, at least, I guess, part of that is fixed now, maybe? But it's not necessarily even always reset, that's what I can tell you. Like, there are ways to avoid that, most certainly. Uh, fix an issue where players attempting to take a split amount of stacked items from a settlement uh, the faction owns. Uh, they were charged for the entire cost of the items in the stack, so that's a good fix. Fix a game crash caused by a player targeting another player with a healing effect at the exact moment they fast traveled or teleported away. Fix an issue reducing variety and potential quality of loot obtained from game modes and chests within the world. Um, here I'm not quite sure what that's about. It says um, an issue that would reduce variety and potential quality of loot. Um, so it could be something about like uh, certain types of loot being very frequent that are relatively low quality. Uh, that is, for example, there's a certain set that you just get over and over and over in PvP that is uh, not particularly good. It has durability on it and maybe it's about that. But um, it could also be weirdly worded and they're actually, actually saying that uh, by fixing the issue, they're reducing the variety, but I doubt it. I think the variety is meant to be higher. So we'll have to find out what that's exactly about. So far, uh, we didn't really find any difference in loot since the patch went live. It went live pretty early for us, but we'll see uh, if we can find out more about it later. Fix an issue causing some crafting bonuses not to not provide the minimum intended values. Fix an issue where overflow items in storage transfer to a different territory. Fix an issue where petting back immediately caused the camera to jitter. Oh, well, that's a big one. 
Fix an issue causing the ice pond ability to not cool on appropriately. Fix an issue where settlement storage can become massively overflowed by expired contracts. Fix an issue where players' movement could stutter after becoming encumbered from logging. Honestly, that one should have been like last on the list of things, in my opinion, because yeah, it's a bug. And yeah, it means the players can walk a little bit more while they're slightly over encumbered, but come on, is is that the is that the priority? Like that's the one that gives players a tiny bit of an advantage and it looks a bit weird obviously but I, I guess it's good it's fixed still but I, I just would like to see some of that energy being directed somewhere else fixed an issue where there were not enough chests at hapless homestead to fulfill faction quest requirements uh, by the way there's another one like those uh, I think in gardens of genesis we're supposed to get the uh, warrior strong boxes which don't exist in gardens of genesis so yeah uh, fix an issue causing players to randomly teleport Fix an issue where players disappear if standing still when a campsite turned blueprint is being held. I don't even know what a campsite turned blueprint is. Is it a turned blueprint or is it a campsite blueprint? Like I know I know both exist, but um well, who knows? Fixed a visual issue causing repeater turrets to appear as if they were firing projectiles at an angle that did not align with a turret. Well that's I think that's the minor issue compared to turrets simply not firing, but hey. Uh, fixed miscellaneous game crashes. And then AI fixes, fix an issue where Mars Jar uh, responds slower than intended at Flatfish Fishery. Fix an issue causing certain bears to respond faster than intended. And fix an issue causing twice the intended number of boars to spawn at Boss uh, in Restless Shores. Boss especially was abused by AFK farmers. Um, they were just bought there and uh, would just AOE the mobs and get a bunch of weapon XP. And then there would be the ones that actually actively skin the mobs. Good that's fixed. I don't even know if uh, half the time fully fixes it. Because I think they're still probably going to spawn fast. But it might just be enough. But at least that's one of the bot farming spots in the game gone. So I'm happy with that. Or at least reduced. Store fixes. Fixed an issue where players could be prompted to purchase an item they had previously started. The unlocking press on in the in-game store. While trying to unlock another item immediately after. Fixed an issue causing store previews for skins to not work correctly. When the player was actively wielding a weapon, fix an issue where the Righteous Guardian's uh, armor skin would not change color in war, fix an issue where the Runic Bear armor skin would not change color in war, and fix an issue causing incorrect poses when previewing uh, store items. Now, there are a few more skins like that, by the way, it's like towards the end here, uh, that don't really change color, um, namely, especially the, the one that you got for uh, watching during the close beta event. So... That's probably not done yet. But what I overall have to say is I'm surprised that the fixes are so careful here. We had a look in game. We were trying to find out if there are fixes beyond that. And I think there are some smaller other things that are not mentioned here. But we haven't really found anything big yet. And there are just a lot of issues still that um, I'm a bit, bit surprised to see at this point. Uh, because New World was delayed for a month specifically to iron out issues, specifically to fix uh, fix a lot of issues. And then, for example, you still have various uh, furnishing icons glitching out all the time and just showing the wrong thing. You have things like mobs being bugged, uh, high-level mobs being bugged, uh, corruptions being bugged, and you can't actually use your Aether stuff. You have three Aether stuff in your inventory, uh, area spawns being bugged for quests, and all the type of stuff that, like, especially if you get towards higher levels, you, you very frequently notice. And that's all stuff that's been in the game. Um, I guess the Aether stuff gets a pass here because that actually was previously all done with the lower tier Aether staff. So that I guess the staff just glitched. But there are a lot of things that I saw in the, in the closed beta and that I reported. Uh, and that I thought, okay, those were the things why they're delaying the game. That makes sense to me. That I actually haven't seen any changes since. And... Um, that also goes for crafting in many ways. There are just very weird crafting requirements for a lot of tiers uh, when it comes to leveling. So I really hope that there is going to be a relatively aggressive patch soon. This is the second update now. It's obviously still a minor one. It's not 1.1 or something. It's just 1.02. Uh, but I'm really hoping that the next change, the next patch, will be very significant to kind of, I don't know, at least catch up on some things. I'm not exactly expecting a lot of weapon balance at this point, even though that should be coming soon as well, hopefully. But at least uh, in terms of bug fixes, the 
more game breaking ones and also the ones that especially hinder progress currently are things that I think should be addressed ASAP. Well, that's my take so far. I really hope that um, the next patch is just going to be a very big one. Uh, now that maybe the, the main server things are sorted out. And then we also have to most certainly have a massive patch for all the issues going on with wars. So there's, there's a lot of work to be done. We'll see how it goes. Uh, for now, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you for the next one uh, likely tomorrow. I'm going to talk about Gearscore. So I'll have to see you for that one soon. Duke Sloth, out.